so I decided to try out Godot. I watched a Godot streamer for a while and it seemed like a neat engine to try. And so last weekend I finally bit the bullet, downloaded Godot 4.1 and gave it a go. The first night I was clicking around at the speed of light just exploring every option. It was so sporadic, but I really focused on what I wanted to see that was available. I kind of wanted to try um, 3D. Even though it's crazy, I'm a 2D developer and the first thing I do in Godot is try out something in 3D. I kind of wanted to give it a go. I saw a YouTube video of four Godot makers making a game, what, in like 44 hours? And I saw that they created their own levels from 2D images, like 2D tile maps. And so I hopped into Blender made some tiles and imported them into Godot. And this really cool grid map editor made it really easy for me just to create a small level very quickly. You can rotate, you can you can do a whole bunch of things. It's really, really nice. And I kind of want to see sometime how easy it would be to actually like implement this so the player has the ability to draw on a tile map. I'm sure it's possible, I just haven't looked into it yet. But again, this is so cool. Unreal does not offer this at all. <laughs> Um, at least this easily and this quickly. Um, it's definitely a tool I love. So yeah, I made a very simple player character, very simple enemy that takes damage and dies. And then I was going to create a boss fight, but he was pretty hard to make. I couldn't figure out how to do the 2D spawn. The first night, I created the player character and I basically took the approach of look up what I want to do. So I didn't take like a course or anything like that. I was like, okay, how do I make the character move? And so I looked up a tutorial and I figured out how to make a character move. And I was like, okay, now I want him to shoot. So I quickly drew up this artwork. I threw it into the game and I was like, okay, so I made a casting animation. So now that I made a casting animation, let's make it work. So I browsed some YouTube videos. Here's the one that I looked at and I learned how to shoot and how to make particles hit the floor. So when you shoot down, it hits the floor and it has a little particle effect and I was pretty proud of this. Sure, the shapes are a little weird, but you know, this is the first day. One thing I noticed with game development and like learning as a beginner is one thing that really helps me learn and eat this even went with like school is like focus on what you want to learn and then the rest will come after. Of course, I'm not saying like anyone should do this, but like if you're having a hard time following generic courses that you don't necessarily care about. Like the first time I tried Unity, I was learning a tutorial on how to make a driving game where you push blocks with the truck. I didn't have any interest in that. I liked more RPG style. I know I shouldn't have watched that, but learn what you want to learn. The rest kind of fills in later, like once you're already motivated. Once you get your initial motivation to, I want to make a game, learn what you want to learn in a more defined and specific way, and then you can learn the rest. And like when you are at that point where you're learning the rest, it already kind of makes sense because you have to learn how to debug. So when you're watching very specific tutorials, those tutorials are so specific that it's to their game or their example that you have to learn how to adapt that tutorial into what you want to make so a lot of times it kind of forces you just to like figure it out on your own but and like if you run into bugs you google it you look at documentation it forces you to do your own research without being without having someone holding your hand the entire time but yeah the first thing i did in godot was make a particle system and here's a little snippet of that i just made like a simple Control Z rain and I used no tutorials, but instead I just made it up purely from like experience of other games and I, I really liked how easy it was to make a particle system. I think the first question I asked my friend was, what is a node? And I learned that if you come from Unreal, it's kind of similar to like an actor, right? Where you can build whatever you want, but it's like more generic than an actor. Like it could be a level. It could be a character, it could be whatever you want. And I think that's really, really cool how that's set up. It makes it so you could just like open up a new tab and create something like just out of nothing and then just add it onto whatever you want later. Very nice. But yeah, first thing I made is first person character. I followed some tutorials and filled in the blanks on my own and personalized it kind of like how I was talking before. Then of course I had to add the spell casting. So once I got the spell casting, I was like, hey, let's make an enemy because I can shoot now. Now let's actually have it land on something to interact with. So I drew up this bat and I drew him up in like 10 minutes or less. Like it was so fast and I'm actually kind of proud of it. It's very simple. 
Um, he kind of looks like Ghost from Call of Duty, but you know, it's fine. It's just a, a ghost bat, you know? But yeah, I just threw him in and it was so easy just to import like everything and just have it ready. I still don't know what's better to use, either the sprites or the animated sprite and then add like an animator on top of it. I don't know, but I still think it was really cool. I got him, t I got nav mesh working. So here I got the nav mesh working. I got it to where the enemy follows you and a little bit of pathfinding. So he always like, yeah, so I got him working and then I also added damage, but I kind of like the billboard effect that Godot has made. Another reason why I chose 3D is because I watched Jackie Codes play one of the older Elder Scrolls games and I realized that they had a 2D sprite for the first person hand and I was like, whoa, like I never realized until I saw it years later that it's just 2D sprites and and I, I just thought it was so cool and I was like, you know, I want to make this but in my art style. Sure, like all the art pieces were made in like 20 minutes or less total, even the animations, but I really like how it looks and I think at some point it'd be really fun either like for a game jam or like a mini game, roguelike or something, just to kind of learn the engine and use this prototype. So I wanted to make a boss fight but i actually wasn't able to i wasn't able to get him to um shoot in a circular range i'm still a little programming lack programming knowledge lacking in that area so instead i was like you know what i'm gonna learn in 2d because i found a tutorial on how to do it in 2d and yeah so i got a basic bullet hell pattern where he spawns bullets in, and every time it shoots it rotates a certain degrees and I thought it was a really cool effect. I think it'd be a really cool boss fight in the future to implement into the 3D world. I also just like the overall look of how he looks and then also like how the bullets kind of came out and and I, I made all of this in like less than 24 hours. I was grinding dude like I felt like the first day in New World when that came out. So final thoughts. It seems like the devs really care. I don't know a bunch still. I'm not a pro like I've only been learning how to program for a year. I really like it. It feels simple enough to where like I can understand. I think the hardest part for me would be the scripting, but I think that's mostly because I just lack programming experience. Like I'm mostly a designer, like level designer, game designer, artist. When I do program, I think the hardest part of Godot is just the scripting. Everything else is so easy, at least like in terms of me just being a game developer for one year, like it's barely been over a year. I started last, I think, September of 2022. And the cons of Godot, it feels a little bit uh, juvenile, and I don't mean that in a bad way. Of course, I'm used to Unreal Engine, so I'm used to it being super powerful, but I do notice that sometimes, like, when it comes to really complicated things, I'm just a little hesitant on how it can handle a very complex game like the one i'm making i even considered for a little bit like hey is it worth moving because it's a 2d game in unreal unreal does have its drawbacks but i'm like okay is it worth it and at the moment i'd say no right now i use narrative for unreal and it's honestly the best dialogue system like, it could remake Baldur's gate like it's so good and if I were to come in Godot, I would have to redesign an entire system from scratch, which will tremendously increase my programming time. Also, I have three programmers that are used to Unreal and I doubt they will come with me to Godot, except for maybe like one. Also, my little brain likes visual scripting. Like it just makes sense to me. I think that's also a reason why I have a hard time with the scripting in here is like when it comes to words, it doesn't make sense. Like I, I do need to learn it, but it just takes longer because it's just confusing for me but i will learn it mark my words i will like one thing that unreal engine really lacks is the tile map system the tile map system in godot is so good and i i don't know if it's good compared to like unity i didn't spend that much time in unity one thing in unreal is that you if you want to make a game with tile maps don't in unreal like if you want to make like a farming sim in Unreal Engine with the current state of the tile maps, just don't. It's bad. Like it's broken, it crashes, and it's just not. That's one big thing. Um, Luckily for me though, is that like in Unreal, my game only uses hand-drawn levels. So I draw the entire level in a sprite before I export it. So like this is 
one of the levels in my in my indie game i drew everything in a sprite like every single detail i did not use tile maps whatsoever and i just export it in layers so like leaf layer and that's gonna be on top of the player and it'll be swaying i could add special effects to it i just prefer drawing my levels like this because it gives me a lot of flexibility for making collisions and sure it does have its drawbacks it, it takes more time than the tile map but i kind of like each level being a painting rather than a bunch of squares thrown together you know this is a level where you can look out the balcony and this is kind of what you see so i draw these entire levels but yeah um so like if you wanted to make a farming sim definitely i would give the recommendation of going to Godot rather than Unreal unless you just have the willingness to write your own tile map system but yeah I was thinking about sometime on my free time making a roguelike for Godot and just kind of learn like procedural generation like I know that's kind of a huge programming task as I'm saying as I just said that I'm learning programming but I, I want to do it so I think the motivation is just kind of what's going to get me there you know will I switch from Unreal to Godot short answer probably not I've been in Unreal for a bit over a year I'm also not one to make firm yes or no but as of now the narrative plugin is really like my clutch in this like it is just so good it saved me so much development time it's so flexible i don't mean to sound like an advertisement but it's so so good i also just do not have the confidence in knowing that godot can handle my turn-based game all of my elements and all of that so i think just for this game that i'm working on the red forest is wishlist just gonna be an unreal game as going forward from there i don't know i don't know if Unreal is going to update the tile maps. I don't know. I do have plans for future games. I keep trying to put them off because I have such good ideas, but then it's like, okay, I want to focus on this game. Sometimes I kind of linger off and, you know, make this in literally a day. I want to focus on my game and yeah. So right now, Godot is just not the best choice for me, but I still love it. And honestly, I think if I'm out on like vacation or if I'm doing a game jam, I honestly want to come back and play in it more it's very fun to play in it's also very lightweight unreal engine is hefty it's like carrying a tank this is so accessible you can download it have a project open it in like less than five minutes and it's really good conclusion i love both engines period they're good in their own way i'm a strong believer of like it doesn't matter what engine you choose as long as you're happy with it you know sure there's ups and downs for every single engine but whatever you feel good in that's the engine that you should go with just make a game like don't be afraid to try out Godot and then try out Unreal, try out Unity, try out RPG Maker, try out Game Maker, like just make games. <laughs> just do what feels right. Do what you are comfortable with, do what you learn well with. If you like C++, go for it. If you like Godot script, go for it. If you're brand new and you've learned a little bit of Python, Gscript I heard is very close to it. Take your time in each. If something feels off about one, just try out another in a weekend. Don't rush it don't force it just do what feels right just follow your gut and make video games all right that's it for me let me know how you like this type of video thank you so much for listening i'm gonna release a devlog really soon of the red forest and i've been holding it off for so long mostly because i didn't feel confident sharing everything but i think it's on steam solid foundation of game design behind it and i'm really excited to share it with you but yeah thank you peace peace